Mainline Pokemon and Pokemon Go are two entirely different beasts. If you told a Go player about natures, I think they'd combust. But one thing Go has over the mainline games is the multitude of unique Pokemon forms and costumes. Flying Pikachu is really iconic for never properly appearing in a mainline game. So Go having multiple Flying Pikachu that can actually use fly is great. I guess there was this in Let's Go, and it's not the same. Quite a few of them reference the first movie of all things. There's the clones of the Kanto starters with their unique markings, Pikachu 2, which is really subtle only being on the ears, and even Armored Mewtwo, which is just awesome. But I also wish we got Mecha Mewtwo from the stage play Pokemon Live. Look at this unit. Gengar gets a really elaborate Mega Bayonet Halloween costume. Come on, this guy also gets two Megas? When will the pandering end? A lot of the costumes give the Pokemon an impeccable fashion sense. Slowpoke's tiny hat is incredible. Curlia gets a fancy top hat and tie. While Gardevoir doesn't, but I guess that would be too much power. And Wooper in a beanie? It's Wooper in a beanie. There's also Squirtle with some slick sunglasses, but they're not the Squirtle Squad glasses. Why? There's plenty of holiday outfits, game tie-ins, but one thing Go doesn't have is spiky-eared Pichu, so Mainline stays winning. Oh.